guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a video on my routine for contouring. Um, right now I have my foundation on um, and my makeup, my eye makeup and stuff. Everything's done except for my contour. So I'm going to be showing you guys today how I do that. Stay tuned and enjoy the video. Right now, obviously, this is not my normal setup. I don't even have a normal setup right now. I'm in between moving. Um, so I'm staying with my brother and sister-in-law at their house. So this is actually their little child's room. So yay for sailor stuff. Anyways, so that's why everything's constantly kind of in a different place and hopefully at our new place it'll be a night a more consistent setup anyways so i hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you guys in the video oh wait and make sure to subscribe so first okay. things first that i'm going to do is i'm going to be using my nars uh, radiant creamy concealer in the color vanilla so pretty light and i just take that and i take um I kind of wipe it a little bit right here and then I take it right in this area. Lately I actually haven't been using as much as I usually do um, because it's summer and I kind of tried to go for a hint more of a lighter or not as contour look. And I just take my beauty blender and I just blend that out. And the next thing that I do is I actually take my Cover FX um, translucent powder and I'll actually kind of bake it a little bit just because you'll see a little bit more towards the end why I do that, but this just kind of helps um, set the under eye and not crease throughout the day. So next I take this palette right here with my lovely Morphe M460. It doesn't honestly matter what I use. I've just been using this and I take the middle color right here, which is the color Light Sculpt. And I'll take that right here. Just like that. I'll take a little bit more and do the other side. Just like that. Nothing too crazy to that other than looking like I've got tiger stripes. And I take a little bit more and I kind of apply it in a dabbing way up here, up in my um, forehead. And then when I feel like being extra chiseled, I will take just a hint a little bit down under here. Just to give that extra nice jawline. So anyways, after that I'll take my beauty blender and sometimes I'll take a brush depending on how much it's not blending because sometimes I can't get it to blend out as much as I'd like to. So I kind of use, lately what I've been doing, so it's a damp beauty blender, I kind of, it's kind of a little dry right now, but I squeeze it out and I just take a little bit of a towel and squeeze it in it. So in case you're wondering how I do my beauty blender, that is how. And then I'll take it and kind of pushing and I know they say like for beauty blenders you're not supposed to like smear it or anything, I don't really do that. But I do feel like sometimes it doesn't move as much as I want it to. So I will kind of like push up and press in. And then I'll just kind of go like this. So I um, have been definitely trying to get more of a uh, kind of like glowier, more natural contour rather than so much as like a line on my face because I think that that's not as in as it used to be which is okay so anyways I just kind of take that into consideration when blending this out I'm not looking to have a harsh line on my face so now that we've kind of got this all blended out what you're gonna do next is I've been you lately 
I've been taking this, which is New York. It's a New York brand, which I'm not a huge fan of that, but this is one of my more tan bronzers that I have. Um, and I've been taking my Morphe M105 brush, which has got this kind of like rounded top to it. It's not really like an angled brush. And I've been just taking that and just dabbing a little bit on the brush and then just kind of bronzing up this area. So one of the things um, with this is sometimes uh, you don't actually have to do the cream contour. That is like above and beyond. You can do that if you want. But I understand like some of you really don't feel like that. So if you want, you can literally skip that step and go straight to like a bronzer or like, um, like one of my favorites is honestly the Hula Benefit. But it's right now it's just not in the color tones that I want on my skin. So you could literally skip the that step and just go straight to this. And the way I apply it is I kind of apply it in like a circular, sorry, this brush is like falling apart on my skin. I just apply it in a circular motion like this and just try to blend it out in this area. a little bit of the lighter because this is a lighter kind of a lighter bronzer I'll take a little bit of that and I kind of run it above this and then lastly this is kind of one of the last steps for the contour so because I've got this baked kind of area right in this area right here what I'll do is I'll take my M40 M462 brush and I'll take that and kind of sweep this out from under here and kind of just blend it in, setting like the rest of my face with any of the residue from the powder. And it also just helps kind of like blend the contour in with my lighter, the highlighted areas. And then I'll take my, I have this Clinique um, Ice Lotus blush that I'll use and I just take that in this area and there you have it this is literally my contouring um, my contour routine yes that's it um, and I hope you guys like this um, this is actually pretty simple I actually do my contour a lot faster than most people do their contour, which is totally fine. Um, but I try to do like a quick, speedy version, and then I also have my sh like my longer version, which includes this. So you can totally do like the speedy, quick version, which does not include this, and that's just blending in these areas and using very like sweepy motions. Try not to use a heavy amount of um, product on the first touch because once it's there, it's stuck. So my recommendation for that is start out with a smaller amount and you can build on it. Um, I hope that this is helpful for you guys. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments below. Um, and let me know if there's any other videos you guys like to see from me. Um, anyways, this is fun. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye!